people, and welcome to another mis mustache and entertainment piece in the series known Pokey Basics. And I'm showing you my rarest cards I own. Some of them don't really have like that wow factor. I have a lot of wow factor cards, but I'm going to shuffle these cards like I'm shuffling now. And who's going to be the first card I'm going to show? And a little known fact about Pokemon. In the anime series, many of their, well, in the cards, many of their characters are featured on cards if they're like special or something. Let's well, give me the first card. Oh, this one's a good one. This is awesome. I know a lot of people argue what's the first Pikachu, but this is the original. I know this for a fact. There's the jungle. I think this is the jungle set Pikachu. I think it's the ghost Pikachu, like, because it's kind of faded. It's actually aired. And it's not that good of a Pokemon, but it's really rare. You can barely find these on eBay, like, without going up to the 10 or $12 limit. The attacks are Gnaw and Thunder Jolt, which Gnaw does 10. Thunder Jolt just 30 damage. Here's the legendary Pikachu. Again, backwards on my camera when I'm videotaping this. So, if it is backwards, I'll list all the stats on the annotation. So, zoom, zoom, zoom. Big you. Alright, for the next card, who's going to be a second? It's actually not a Pokemon, but it's kind of a rare energy card. This kind of surprises you, because the average energy cards you usually see look like, hold on a second, I've got to pull one out, this, but it has silhouettes of Pokemon on them, sorry, I've got like, cards organized back here, they're falling out everywhere, uh, sorry, I'm kind of out of order right now, at the moment, I'm kind of slacking since summer, alright, but take a look, it has a Celebi in a beautiful forest, hold on a second, it has a little pop-up on here, isn't that really cool or what? There isn't much to say about an energy card, but these always sold for about a week for the Heart Gold and Soul Silver. It's worth about a dollar. Not much, but it's cool. That's why I picked it. Next. Okay, hold on a second. Let me check something. Oh, then we can do this. Okay, it's an evolution set I got. I got this in one pack. I have a lot of good luck when it comes to Pokemon card packs to open. Soon I'm going to get a booster pack and I might make videos of me opening them. Because a lot of people do that. It's so much fun. Oh my gosh. I love opening them. Like, I get a cup of tea and I sit down in my living room like, Oh my god, I got this card. It's all energy cards. Even though I really am desperate for energy cards right now for my deck. Because I have water and electric. I think I might switch to normal and electric. So this is the Trico, Grovile, and Skeptile set. It's from the Honan region. Here's Trico. He's really cute. His attacks are Pound and Slash. Pound does 10. Slash does 20. It's a very cute Pokemon. This one's just beast mode looking. And this one is called Grovile. It's attack start attacked, and this one is blade arms, it's 30 damage, and it's HP is 80, and oh yeah, for Trico, it's 60. Now this one, you're just going to be like, oh my god, because usually the regular evolved forms that aren't shiny or holographic or are, are lame, this one's just awesome. It's Skeptile. This attack does, well, it's it has a pokey body called Green Breath. It's kind of long, so I really don't want to read it because it takes up time on my video. And Leaf Blast says 20, and Poison Claw says 60. It has 120 HP. That's. I can't even say it. it's going to ruin it. So, yeah. Trico. The Evolution set is worth about $4 on eBay. That's the highest record. Oh. Alright, so you've seen them all basically so far. And now. Hold on. I'd like to present 
three cards that are, of course, in a set. They all have something in common. They all have Elite Four members, except two of them are from Sinnoh, and one of them's from Kanto. This one's Drapion. It's from this one green hair dude from the Elite Four. I forgot his name. I may put an annotation. Sorry if I forget. That says his name and, you know, stuff about him. And it's a dark type that knows Body Slam. That's does a hundred. Oh, sorry, twenty damage. And Mega Impact that does seventy damage. Yeah, okay. And the HP is a hundred. And the next one is Hound Houndoom. It's another Elite Four. I'm not sure what the dude's name is. Even though I'm a hardcore Pokemon fan, I still don't know his name. It's Houndoom and Corner is 20 damage and Fire Fang is 40. Zoom. Zoom. Oh, sorry. And pardon me for the background sounds. That was just my dad going to move his car because I think my mom's home. And again, a laundry room. This might be my future recording site for my Pokemon videos. And this is Koga's Pidgey. He's a Kanto one. And this is Peck does 10 and... Hold well, a second. Sand attack that does 20 damage. Alright, I'm sorry, I just gotta move along because I only have 10 minutes to videotape. And Nidoqueen, Queen. The strangest Pokemon I've ever seen in my life. This Pokemon just creeps me out. Nidoqueen, Queen, her she's a grass type, 90 HP. She's a good Pokemon, just her attack is really creepy. It's boyfriends. Boyfriends. Okay, that's just, Kim Kardashian must own this because they have something in common. Looking for your boyfriend. Alright, so, does 20 damage and Mega Punch and Normal Attack. That's 50. Here's a zoom up. Alright, I may not get all these cards shown in this video since it's so little. I am holding my, mm, I think it's second, I think it's a tie actually. No, it's my second rarest card, and you won't believe this. Rayquaza Level X Champion. This is the second rarest card. It's worth $180 on eBay. Now, you should see my second rarest, my first rarest card. Its attack is Dragon Spirit and Final Blow Up. You know, it takes the same amount of energy cards for a 200 damage attack. But for the other ones, it's like a 20 damage, and you have to pay like four, four energy cards. Honestly, I think that's kind of far-fetched, in my opinion. And it has a Pokey Body Dragon Spirit. It's shiny. I love the little lining. And there's Champion. Alright, now we got an awesome card out of the way. Let's do another one. Celebi, another legendary card. This is my fifth rarest, I think. And Sprouting is its attack. It really doesn't do anything. And Leaf Tornado does 30. Its HP is 60. It's from the Honan region, so, you know. And this is just cool. Like, those second of all forms that are holographic, they're always worth something. I looked up, this is worth $10. It's a holographic Escalavier. Its attacks are Guard Press, it's, it does 40, and Twin Needle. It only needs three energies to do a 70, like, hitter. I mean, what the heck? It takes four to do a 30 damage one on a champion level. But this, 70. That just ticks me off. Now take a look. It's a very pretty card. Like, if you see an evolution card that's holographic, it's a good card, people. And I got this in a Pokemon card set. It's Zoroark. And it's all graphic, so you know, it's going to be good. And this is Hefty P Nasty Plot. And Foul Play, you can use whatever your opponent's attack and use it. It's a very good card. But there isn't much to it attack wise. Hold on a second. Sorry about that, I had to close the door real fast. And we're getting down to slimmer of my cards. Again, cool evolution. Gastrodon. Some people 
will say a sucky card. I love Gastrodon. He's just beast. And this is Calling Wave and Wave Splash. Pretty cool. Holographic. Alright. And now I'm going to show you the rarest card I own. It's in beat the living crap up shape. But it's still worth about $200 on eBay. Charizard. The holographic one. It's awesome. This card, I would never trade if I could get a billion dollars for this. It has so much sentimental value to me. But it has 120 HP and it does 100 damage for an attack called Fire Spin. We all know that. And there's a Poke Pokemon Power. It, it's a Poke Power. It, they just put full Pokemon on there, but you know. Alright, and then of course you got the classic cards. These are always rare because they don't sell them anymore and it's, they came out in like 1995. This is Golding, has 40 HP, and Horn Attack does 10. It's not a good Pokemon card that I put in my deck. I just think it's a fun Pokemon card. Tropius, it's not holographic. Again, it's a fun Pokemon card and it's pretty tough. It has 80 HP and Fly as well of its attacks, so it can do 30 damage, Blessed Fruit, and Solar Beam. Pretty good card, battle-wise. But if you don't like those type of cards, then... Now, here's Mantric Team Galactic. If you just find a regular Mantric, eh. But if it's holographic and it has... It belongs to a Team Galactic leader, I'm not sure what the heck his name is. And it's Energy Absorption and Thunder Fang, 30 damage. I have to tell you one of the funniest moments in the Pokemon Team Galactic Saga. It's where they finally have the Porter Time Space, blah, blah, blah. And, like, Ju Ju Jupiter or whatever, or Mars. And she's like, don't leave us, boss. And the guy's like, "It's the world's all mine. Oh, mine. He's like that. Me and my brother roll, Rick rolled about that. And here's another old card. This is what the potions look like. It's just a fun collectible card. And here's Brock Skullbat. It's really cool because it belonged to a gym leader. And its attacks are Dive, which does 20, and Spiral Dive. It does 10 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Here's Brock. He looks me gusta. And there's Skullbat. Alright. And then the hottest Pokemon person there is. It's an AK neutral. He's so hot. I just like this card because he, he's the hottest character and he has a card. So I just love this card to death. I would never trade it. And it allows you to shuffle your deck, blah, blah, blah. You know. Alright, so that ends our video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and keep on watching more Pokemon videos. I'm making plenty more. Peace.